right back here on the Stone and Digital Dave radio show. And Digital Dave, as you know, we've been banning people from our show, and we've been banning them for the obvious reasons of A, they're usually are, are a bad character, they've done something awful, uh, they don't have credibility, or they try to go on our show and try to plug a product, they've bashed us. Or they try to come on a show and plug a product and don't know a thing about the Stone and Digital Day radio show. On my list, I have the newest person that we are going to ban from the Stone and Digital Day radio show. And I think we ought to ban Sarah Palin. What do you think about that? Well, I believe that no matter what Sarah Palin, what show she's on or who she's affiliated with, it's all about Sarah Palin and the right-wing agenda. We're not about any right-wing agenda, so I think she has no relevancy on Stone to this day radio show. Right, so... She's out of here. Right, and other reasons we're going to ban her is because, A, she has turned into a major money hawk. Have you noticed that? Yes. Not only that... Right, and we're also banning her because she resigned as governor of Alaska, right in the middle of her term. Come on, you're supposed to support the people you went out there and voted, got their votes, and all of a sudden you're just running and taking the money and leaving? I think she got a better offer. And they said, look, leave now before you sink and things don't work out like they should. So she's taking the money and run. I can't say I blame her. I don't, I mean, let's face it, you know, no offense, but if they said, look, this is day. Here's Two million, but you, it's just got to be the Digital Dave show. What I would do is... Oh! <laughs> I said, look, sign me up. <laughs> what I would do, but it was, this is the difference between me and her. I said, sign me up, and then I would bring you in as a guest host, guest host, and then they get to say, hey, it's a package deal, and all be uh, well in uh, Toyland. Right. And the, the name of the show might have to change to the Digital Day and Stone Show, but, you know, who cares about that? Right. And, and then also we're banning her, too, because her throwing all this support behind the Tea Party. And, I mean, I think the Tea Party is just separating the country. It's a total joke. And, once again, she is spearheading it. She is doing whatever she can to antagonize people in this party. Well, she is a major rebel rouser, and she's antagonizing America. Here's the thing. The uh, Republicans have to do something. They have to do something to get the ball back in their court. And believe me, if they really thought about it, they, ha they don't have to do anything. Because these Democrats are blowing uh, holes in their feet left and right. They're shooting themselves all the way up and down. And I can see Obama will shoot himself all the way to... Uh, being out of office. He will never make it a second term. He will never, ever make it a second term. And the reason is because all he's doing is Obama agenda and not the people's agenda. And that's why I say if they were smart, I would forget about the Tea Party and let them get their own grade because it's going to be so deep by the time for election day to come, he will never, ever, he may not even be he may resign, not even... Right. I don't know how we got to President Obama, but once again, the point is here. Without further ado, Sarah Palin has officially been banned from the Stone and Digital Dave radio show. Out of there. Go on. Lifetime banned. Who's next? Jamie Foxx? Oh, well, he almost... He was almost banned last 